Hi, I'm Phil Martelli, head basketball coach at St. Joseph's University, and you're watching CITV. matchup between the Ben Salem Fighting Owls and your Plymouth White Marsh Colonials. I'm Stephen O'Malley alongside Ethan Jack for this CITV broadcast. The Colonials enter tonight riding a perfect season, 24-0 and off of a first round bye. The Fighting Owls at Ben Salem coming off a wild first round matchup in which they defeated Pensbury 58-55 in overtime. Also coming in tonight's game, PW is rocking a 49 game home win streak, the longest in Pennsylvania currently right now. And to quote senior guard Amin Williams, we don't lose at the crib. We don't lose at home. All right, Ethan. Tonight's starters for the Colonials are, as usual, the twins Amin and Ahmad Williams, Alan Glover, Ish Horn, and Naheem McLeod. And the starters for the Ben Salem Fighting Owls, number three, Ward Roberts, number 10, James Libel, number 32, Chris Shields, number 23, Lamont Hasker, and number one, my favorite name in the entire district, Taco Douglas. I don't see why that wouldn't be your favorite name, Steve. It is a great name to have if you are a basketball fan. All right, we are set for tip-off here. The Colonials in white, the Fighting Owls in blue. Here we go, second round of district playoffs is away. Tap one by Naheem McLeod. Here comes Ishorn pushing the floor. Euro step, bucket good for two, getting it started early. Already already off the bat, Ishorn wanting to make a statement in this game, getting that nice Euro step layup for the bucket for the Colonials. Which is part of our Colonials keys to the game. Oh, that's a turnover, oh, no turnover off of Amin Williams' legs. But as I was saying, that is part of the Colonials keys to the game. A quick start, right? Absolutely. Everything they do is really quick, especially on fast breaks. And when they want to cause turnovers, they go fast. They run fast and they want to put points on the board, Steve. And being 24-0, you also want to assert your dominance early too. That's part of it. Absolutely. Floater, no good. Oh. Offensive foul going the other way. Glover takes the charge with the new haircut. I almost didn't recognize him, Steve, but I did recognize him when he took that charge. That is the same Alan Glover there, asserting himself on defense and making a good spot firsthand in this game, Steve. New hair, same Alan. Pick from McLeod, running to the basket as Ahmad Williams kicks to his brother Amin for three. No. Oh, it's good. Takes. Four taps off the rim and finds his way home, good for three. Look, you don't have to be efficient if it just has to bounce in, Steve. Amin, really good at those three-point shots. The dogs are out for the Colonials. Amin and Ahmad trapping the Taco Douglas backcourt, and it's picked off by McLeod. Here come the Colonials. Amin Williams, Euro, behind, leaves it off for Glover, rebounded by McLeod, taps it in for two. It's 7-0, timeout Ben Salem. What a start by the Colonials. Steve, we're already in a minute into the game. We already put up seven points. Wow, the Colonials are coming up scorching hot. A key for the Colonials, again, is to press, set the tone early, and show them whose house this is. And as you can see now on your screen, that crowd is rocking. They're Ab ready to go. Absolutely. And I'm glad that the Colonials were able to put up seven points to get this entire crowd going. It's been a minute and eight seconds, and they have seven points. Right now, they are showing who they are. True colors are being shown, 24-0 on the year, looking to make that 25. Listen, I already know what the Colonials look like. I'm just wondering what Ben Salem is going to look like after coming back from just seven points down, already in a minute and eight in the game. How are they going to respond to this, Steve? An offensive foul and two half-court turnovers for Ben Salem right now is looking like the story of the game. And there's water on the floor. Nothing that a water boy can't fix. Ben Salem will end up with the ball under their own basket. And we'll resume play now. 
Seven nothing is the score, 652 is what the clock says. Inbounding the ball is Shields. Gets it to Taco Douglas, who already has a foul to his name. Shields in the backcourt. Shields gets it. Taco Douglas has the ball. Fans chanting that name. Driving on McLeod. That is Ward Roberts good for two. Roberts not afraid to take it on the big man. Getting right by him. Naheem trying to go over the back of him. Trying to go for the block. Just missed it by a hair. And Roberts gets the bucket. Ben Salem with a little supportive section of their own over there. Glover to Horn. Horn drives. Baseline. Leaves it for Amin Williams. Baseline two. No good. Rebounded by Douglas. Here comes Taco Douglas. Leaves it off for Roberts. Roberts steps back. Looks to reset. Gets it to Shields. Shields has the ball. Hands it off to Roberts. They're looking to get the offense set up. Roberts pulls it back out the half court. Taco Douglas with the ball. Oh, he kicks it. That three ball is no good by James Leibel. Amin Williams looking to push the four. Gets it to his brother Ahmad, who pushes it to Alan Glover. Drives the basket. Layup good for two. Alan Glover lays it in. Alan Glover being the strong big man he is, taking that with the right hand on the left side of the, of the court. A nice switch hand by Alan Glover. Roberts guarded by the Twins. Driving on McLeod. Leaves it off for Douglas. That was Carlos Gonzalez. Douglas to Roberts. Pull up three. That's good from downtown. Ward Roberts puts it in. Yeah, Roberts trying to respond just for his team. Right now he's the only one that the Colonials should be really putting their defense upon. And you can feel the benches shaking from the Ben Salem crowd right now. Score is nine to five, just under five. Glover receives it at top to Amin Williams. Amin Williams dumps it off the horn. A three ball of his own, no good. Rebounded by, last touch by McLeod, or excuse me, last touch by Ben Salem off McLeod. It'll be Colonial's ball under the basket. Amin Williams looking. Gets it to Alan Glover, who drops his defender, lays it in for two. Man, Alan Glover making a stance inside. And he, I'm not sure if the player slipped, but it seemed like Alan took him down himself with that layup. Looking like the hairdo's the way to go. Driving the basket is Shields. Blocked by Glover yeah, and McLeod. We've got two in a row. Not in our house. Not today. It'll be... Ben Salem ball out for the jump ball, but wow, defense. Wow. 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 Wow is a good word for that. Wow. Not today. Fade away. That shot, no good. Rebounded by, tip by Glover. It's Libel with it. He lays it in for two. James Libel doing really good on the offensive side, staying with the ball, even knowing going for the offensive rebound, maybe in the Colonials' hands, he was able to go and get that layup, a second chance point. Ahmad Williams doesn't use the pick, drives the basket, gets it to his brother Amin. Amin drives, layup, no good, rebounded by Taco Douglas. Douglas will look to push the floor. He's got Roberts in the backcourt if he needs. It's, it's Douglas. Douglas driving on Ahmad Williams, looking to create something liable inside. Power dribble, and he'll be walking down the court. It'll be Colonial's ball. Naheem McLeod, his presence is scary. When you see a 7-2 center standing right in front of you, I will walk too to try and get an extra step to try and get that layup. Libel getting called with that walk. Ahmad Williams guarded by Douglas. Williams has it from Williams to Glover. Glover jab step back to Ahmad Williams, inside to the big fella, McLeod, and he'll shoot two. Fouls on James Libel, his first. Team second. Naheem is aligned to shoot two. Listen, everything to Naheem McLeod should be a mismatch. He saw the undersized Libel and took him to the gym. Libel hacking at him. He will get two shots. McLeod receiving overrated chance from the Ben Salem fans. First free throw is no good. Again, the score is 11 to 7 with 321 remaining in the first. McLeod will get his second free throw here.
Williams switches for Glover. Shooting is McLeod. Free throw is no good. Rebounded by Carlos Gonzalez. It is Ward Roberts with the ball in the backcourt. Guarded by Amin and Ishhorn. Driving his shields, dumps it off to Gonzalez. Gonzalez, Gonzalez looking for Roberts. Roberts pull up three. Bang, puts it in downtown. Ward Roberts. Pulling up from everywhere, Steve. That, that, that seemed to be a Trey Young range, NBA three range shot. Nothing the Colonials could do on that one. Just expect for the rebound, but lucky shot by Roberts. Ahmad Williams gets it to his brother, Amin Williams, looking for the big man inside, not there. Ahmad Williams, three ball of his own. No good, rebounded by James, she Chris Shields, excuse me. James Shields is a pitcher, not a basketball player. Taco Douglas with the ball. Guarded by Ahmad Williams. Douglas driving to the basket, and it is blocked by Naheem. He hands it off to Ahmad, and they're off to the races. Ahmad Williams gets it inside to Glover. Glover to Horn, three ball. Bang! Puts it in! Makes it 14 to 10. Ish Horn with a three of his own. Listen, if you have all the time on the world to take a three, take your time, another breath, maybe bend the knees, and then knock it down. That's what Ish Horn did right there on that three-point shot, Steve. Douglas gets it over half court. Shields has got it, guarded by Amin Williams. The big fell out on the perimeter guarding Ward Roberts. Roberts guarding, guarded by Amin, excuse me. Shields has the ball. Guarded closely by Glover, drives to the basket. Shields blocked by Glover, retained by Shields to Libel. Libel pull up two. That shot is no good. Spiked by Glover, tipped around. Roberts receives the ball, puts it in for two, making the score 14 12. Here come the Colonials after that offensive rebound by the Fighting Owls. Ahmad Williams, high pick from Glover. Williams backing down his defender, drives to the basket. Football player S, no good, rebounded by Ward Roberts. Here come the Fighting Owls. They have a chance to take the lead for the first time this game. Douglas has it. Douglas gets the ball to Shields. Shields gets the ball to Roberts. Roberts to Libel. Libel driving on the big fella. And it's blocked by Naheem, retained by Horn. Here come the Colonials. Horn pushing the floor. Cross court to me, Williams pass, no good. It'll be Ben Salem ball with just under a minute to play. Just a little too much heat on that pass by Eshorn. He saw the trailing Amin Williams wide open, but ball sailing over him, nothing Amin can do, but it was a good idea by Ish at the time. Taco Douglas with the ball, guarded by Horn. Horn and Williams now. Shields gets the ball at half court. Shields guarded by Ahmad Williams. Roberts has the ball, 34 to go in the first quarter. Horn guarding Roberts. Roberts drives by, pull up two. No good, rebounded by the big fella. Hands it off to Horn, and the, Horn will bring the ball up for the Colonials. Gets it over half court to Amin Williams. Amin with a risky pass to Horn. They'll look to hold for one. Williams to Williams. Ahmad now has it. Pick from Glover. Rolling around is Ahmad. Foul be. Off ball foul, the second on James Libel, his second team's third. Look, anything to go and do to guard Naheem, keep him out of the paint, especially last second so he doesn't get an offensive rebound put back. You have to do anything, especially foul. But at this point, not that many fouls being called in this first quarter, Steve. So a good, smart idea to, by Ben Salem to foul Naheem in the middle of the paint so they can stop the clock, hopefully to get the Colonials to miss a shot last minute. T.J. Igilski checks in for James Libel. Glover has it. We've got three seconds, two seconds. Uh, foul again will be on the floor, looks like. First foul on Igilski. Team sport. This should be a catch and shoot moment, Steve. Only 1.4 left. Glover. Amin Williams at the buzzer. No good. At the end of the first, scores 14 to 12, a tightly contested offensive game by both teams. Right now, what do the Colonials need to do? Look to push the lead and ex ex show this Ben Salem team who they really are. Yes, and re really, 
Not 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 a great start a great by the start. Colonials, Steve. They it was, had, a, they, it was they a hot were start that kind of cooled down as the quarter went on. You had a they, all right. They already had one minute in the game. They were up seven points. It was seven to zero, and then for the rest of the quarter, they only managed to score seven more points while letting Ben Salem come back with twelve. And let me tell you something, Steve. You've been talking about Taco Douglas pregame, but Ward Roberts, man, he really set the tone in the first quarter with ten points for Ben Salem. And one thing the Colonials have to do, which they sometimes struggle with, is defend the three better. I mean, right now, what, Ward Roberts has two, right? Two three-point yeah. shots, one, I would say, an NBA three, but I would I would let that one slide. But normally, at that point, it was, it was all about the offensive rebounds for Ben Salem. They were getting the loose balls from the Colonials off of, like, it's all about who wants that ball written on their name exactly. the most. So se their second chance points skyrocketed. So that so that's the reason why they're still in this game. Their offensive rebounds are the second chance points, Steve. The Colonials just got to step it up on the rebounding and start playing their game. Be hot like they were in the first few min for the first minute of the first quarter. That's their game, Steve. Exactly. Ahmad Williams with the ball. Same five for both teams. Ahmad driving on Douglas. Ahmad loses the ball. Gets it inside to McLeod. McLeod, jump, hook, no good. Rebounded by McLeod is the one who gets it last. Glover has it. Williams gets it from Glover. Williams drives the basket, lays it in for two. Puts the Colonials back up by four to start off the second quarter. Ahmad, this time successful with that drive-by layup. A, a little floater at the end, swish. G.J. Agilski is going to drive on Naheem to the basket. Agilski has it. He has it guarded by Naheem. Shields gets it. Shields loses the ball. Foul called on Amin Williams. His first, team's first. Shields trying to do his best uh, Oscar impersonation. Yeah, it didn't look like he got hit that hard. It didn't seem like it. didn't seem like he got hit that hard, but flailing his arms, he really wants that Academy Award this upcoming, this upcoming weekend. Oscar season. Taco Douglas inbounds the ball to Agilski. Agilski gets, dumps it right back. Douglas looking to set up the offense for Ben Salem here. Ward Roberts has it. The hot hand for the Fighting Owls. Guarded by Amin Williams. Agilski fakes the three, drives the basket. Shields inside on Glover. Hands it off. Now call a foul on Amin Williams. Looks like that. He'll pick up a quick second team's second. Amin angry at himself for that foul as he saw that Roberts trying to go for the ball on the floor gave him a little shove at the end. It was an easy call for the ref to make and a silly foul by Amin Williams. Cooper checks in the game for Williams. First substitution made by coach Jim D'Onofrio. Ward Roberts guarded by Cooper. Driving on Cooper is Roberts. Now it's Gonzalez to Shields. Shields drives to the basket, lays it off. Gonzalez layup good for two. Good ball movement there by the Fighting Owls. Yeah, great ball movement by Ben Salem. At ending up finding Carlos Gonzalez at the very end of the block for an easy layup. Williams hands it off to Horn. Horn will set up the offense. Amal Williams drives baseline. Resets, hesitates, spin move. Cooper has it. Horn, three ball. Bang! Puts it in! It's Horn from behind the line, extends the lead to five. And one possession with good ball movement leads to another possession with great ball movement. The Colonials striking back with a three, wide open. Ish Horn draining it. Score is 19-14 with just under six to go remaining in the first half. Shields guarded by Ahmad Williams. Shields guarded by Ahmad Williams. Taco Douglas has the ball. Douglas guarded by Horn, Agilski guarded by McLeod. Agilski, last foot moved a little bit. He's taking a walk down the court. TJ Agilski with the walk there. Agilski having no idea what to do with the ball at that point, trying to give it up to another teammate or just picking it up, waiting for another teammate to get it for him. And travel by the travel called by the ref. Glover. Gets the ball to Ahmad Williams. Ahmad Williams driving baseline, favoring that. 
Fade away two, no good. Rebounded by Ward Roberts. Here come the uh, excuse me, the Fighting Owls. Ward Roberts, jump stop two, no good. Rebounded by Gonzalez, puts it in. Timeout. Head coach Jim D'Onofrio clearly for that offensive rebound. He is yeah. I would, I would say a well needed timeout by Coach Jim D'Onofrio. Right, right now Colonials aren't don't seem to be playing their type of defense right now. Normally we see them as the really close guarding press defensive team but right now we just see offensive rebounds by Ben Salem easy second chance points and it just does not seem like the real Colonials we've been seeing all regular season Steve right right now the hustle is clearly in favor with Ben Salem and that is normally never the case with the Colonials I mean Alan Glover is easily one of the premier rebounders in this district right now it doesn't seem like Alan Glover has been making he made a stamp in the first quarter but right now, it has seemed that they have taken him out of the equation. He's been trying to go for those defensive rebounds, but coming off a little short, Ben Salem picking up the pieces and then putting them back in. Right now, all five struggling to rebound, even the big fella, Naheem McLeod. Inbounding the ball will be Glover, looking to get something going. Maybe forward momentum for the remainder of this game. Glover gets the ball at half court, drives, rebounded by McLeod. McLeod, he'll shoot two. Alan Glover seemed to lose control a little bit there, but luckily enough, the big fellow was there to get the rebound. Either way, it was a great drive by Alan Glover. Even though he even though he didn't make the layup, Naheem McLeod was there to pick himself back up and try to get the layup, but he got fouled in the process. That was Agilski's second, team's fifth. McLeod, the recipient of overrated chance yet again. Libel for Agilski. McLeod struggling from the free throw line tonight. Second free throw for McLeod. His second free throw on the way. And no good, rebounded by Gonzalez. Douglas, guarded by Horn. Douglas still has the ball at half court. Roberts has it. Guarded by Cooper. Liable in the corner. Fade away from the elbow. No good. Rebounded by McLeod. Stolen by Douglas. Retained by McLeod. Cooper has it. Gets it cross court to Ahmad Williams. A little bit of craziness in the backcourt. Horn drives. That'll be a foul on Chris Shields. His first team sixth. Looks like we're shooting two here. A nice, a nice job by Naheem McLeod on the defensive rebound. Even though it seemed that Ward Roberts was trying to get in there to get that ball, he still stayed with the rebound and was able to get a guard in the process. And Ishorn on the other side driving to try and get Ben Salem to commit a foul. And he was successful in the process. Let's see if he can actually make two free throws. Looking to convert point. from the line here tonight, yeah. Horns free throw. Good. Puts the Colonials up four, making the score 20 to 16 with 4.15 remaining in the first half. Second free throw here for Horn. Second free throw is good, rolls in, extending the Colonials lead to five. Looks like Shields will inbound the ball. Douglas gets it. He'll be guarded closely by Ishorn. Horn and Douglas, oh, Horn going for the steal there, no good. Roberts gets it inside to Douglas. Douglas looking back inside, he'll pull it back out. Great defense by Ishorn, keeping his hands up, sliding his feet, staying with Douglas in the process. Taco Douglas and Horn going at it a little bit. Ward and Cooper now. No switch there. Ward falling down, excuse me, Ward Roberts falling down that is. Gonzalez. Shot no good, rebounded by Ahmad Williams. He'll push it himself. Ahmad Williams gets it, drives, lays it off for Cooper. His three ball in the way, no good. Rebounded by Libel. Libel will push the floor. Driving on McLeod, he kicks it out to Shields. Shields guarded by Cooper. Picked by Libel. Shields drives the basket, lays it in, no good. Rebounded by McLeod, hands it off to Cooper. Here come the Colonials. Ahmad Williams has it. He gets a pick from Glover, pull up, shot, no good, rebounded by Roberts. 
Roberts pushing it himself, and his layup is good for two. Making the score 21 to 18, just under three to go. Very interesting right now for the Colonials. Yeah, it was a bunch of empty possessions back to back for the Colonials and Van Salem until it ended with Ward Roberts with that layup. The Colonials got to find their shot right now. It seems like they're taking a lot of unneeded, necess unnecessary threes at this point. Ahmad Williams driving the basket. No good, last touch, it'll be out of bounds. Ben Salem ball checking into the game. 23 Amin Williams for his brother Ahmad. Yeah, Ahmad Williams trying to do too much with that ball at that point on that last possession. Trying to go in, try to commit the foul and get the, those free throws, but unsuccessful in the process. You gotta go and actually commit and make the fake so you can get the defender up and then make sure that he goes and commits the foul. Gonzalez. Timeout, Ben Salem, looking to even tie this game on the possession. Right now, the Colonials do not seem like themselves. Definitely an off game right now. It did seem like at least two possessions in a row that they were starting to get on their drive back into the game with a couple of good defensive rebounds and then fast break points and then a well-executed free throws by Ish Horn, which they desperately needed. It seemed like they were in the driver's seat, but Ben Salem still staying right behind them in this game, only trailing by three points. It, see, it, see, it seems like both games are, both these teams are really, really well evenly matched at this point. It, it all depends on which team will come forward later in this game, Steve. One matchup the Colonials really haven't gone to right now is, is Naheem McLeod, who is bounds and leaps taller than every single player out on the court. Well, and, and they haven't used him to his full advantage yet. Well, right now, he has been the secondary option for when it comes to offensive rebounds. He's there, he's there to pick up the points which the Colonials aren't able to put back in, but he has been found in the process. He's 0 for 4 with free throw, Steve. He can have six points by ra right now, but instead he only has one put back layup. He's got to make a bigger. He's got to make a bigger impact in the in the second half of this game. He can make Correct. a bigger impact right now. He can do it on the defensive side of the ball if he wants to. But right now the Colonials have got to make a statement towards the very end of this half, Steve. Got two minutes to kill it. Right now it'll be Ben Salem ball at half court. Inbounding the ball is Taco Douglas. Douglas receives the handoff from Libel. Douglas will be guarded by Williams. Douglas has the ball at half court. Now it's Shields guarded by Horn. Ward Roberts to Taco Douglas. Douglas guarded closely by Horn. Now it's Amin Williams on him. Has two fouls, need to be very careful. Shields has it with just under two to go. Ward Roberts gets it back to Taco Douglas. Douglas drives, loses the ball, retains it. Still has it, Libel has it, now Douglas has it. Colonials can't get the ball out of Taco Douglas' hands. Man, he is really wanting this ball right now. He's trying to kill time off the clock. Ward Roberts guarded by Cooper. Hand off to Libel. Libel hand off to Douglas. Douglas gets it to Libel. Libel drives right down the middle. His shot good and one. He can tie this game here with a free throw. It only, it only took him about a minute, Steve, to only get that M1 layup by Libel. Beautiful possession by Ben Salem. It was. It, it, it got the Colonials tired out. They were running around trying to chase after Taco Douglas the entire time until he made the dish to Libel and Libel did the rest himself. Libel's free throw is no good, rebounded by McLeod. Horn gets it cross court to Cooper. Colonial's looking to get something before the end of the half. Cooper has it, looking for the Horn handoff. It's not there. Cooper resets with just over one to go in the first half. Right now, Cooper has a mismatch with Shields, so he should be able to go and do something with himself, try to drive and facilitate Lover. something. Layup, that's good for two. Puts the Colonials back under three with a running clock under a minute. When you need it, Alan Glover is there to go and make those trusty layups. A great dish by Cooper and an even better drive by Alan Glover to finish that layup. Ward Roberts guarded by Cooper and Horn. Looking to split the defenders, does. And it's tipped by Naheem, he gets it. And now he swings it to Amin Williams. Here come the Colonials again. Amin Williams, Euro. Layup, good for two, extends the lead to five. That clock is still running under one. You know how fast 
You know how fast four points makes up in 30 seconds? Two well-timed fast break and easy quick possessions by the Colonials. It makes them feel better since they're up four now. Oh, my bad, up, up five, five now. Douglas guarded by Williams. Douglas drives to the basket. Floater is good. We got 10 seconds with a running clock left in the first half. Horn slows it up. Horn, two, one, and good if it goes, counted it! Count the basket at the half. Colonials lead 27-22 with a faster end in that last minute of play, really showing that kind of team they are. Absolutely, Ishorn. It almost seemed like he didn't even know how much time there was at the very end of the game. With four seconds left, he does it himself. He just drives right through the Ben Salem defense and then get not so easy layup, but finesses a layup, able to get put the Colonials back up five points going into halftime. Five looks surely better to th than three. We'll be back for more for the second half of this second round District 1 playoff matchup. And we're back for the second half of the second round of the PIAA District 1 playoffs and the matchup between the Plymouth White Marsh Colonials and the Ben Salem Fighting Owls. Right now the score is 27-22 in favor of the Colonials. Not their best half by this season standards. Yes, Steve. A as you know with the Colonials, they like to go out, start hot in the first half. They want to they want to be up there putting up the points on the board and keeping and keeping the visiting team at least under 10 points at the, at their standards. But right now they they are 5 points ahead of Ben Salem. So they got to make a they got to make a statement in this third quarter or this second half in order to go and try and win this game, Steve. This Colonials team right now is really struggling to score the basketball on the offensive end. Both teams actually struggling to score, but it's more of a defensive game than I guess a lack of scoring because, you know, 20 20 in the 20s at the, uh, at the second half of a playoff game, it's low. It's low. Yeah, it is. And if I, if I were looking at this scoreboard right now, for it, in the Colonial standpoint, I would see this as like them coming out of the first quarter, not the starting the second half. Stolen by Horn right off the inbound. His layup no good, rebounded by Douglas. Last touch by Douglas. It'll be Colonial ball for now. Refs discussing the play. They'll overturn the call. It'll be, no, it'll, the call will stand. It'll be Colonial's ball. Nahim will inbound the ball for the Colonials. Glover gets it to Ahmad Williams. Ahmad inside. That's McLeod throwing it down. Ben Samlin coach is not, not so happy about that. Naheem McLeod seemed to elbow number 12, Carlos Gonzalez, across the head after making that dunk. The dunk will stand to make the score 29-22. Refs seem to miss that, according to uh, Mike McCabe, Mike McCabe of Ben Salem. But right it'll now, be it'll be Ben, ben Salem, Salem ball. A little bit of confusion there. That dunk will count. Checking to see if Gonzalez is all right. Douglas receives the inbounds pass. That pass was from Horn, not Williams. Correction there. Douglas guarded by Amin Williams. Gonzalez looks to be good after being shaken up on the last play. Gets it to Roberts. Roberts hands it off. Libel. That'll be last touched by Ben Salem. Out of bounds. Colonial's ball. Colonial's first three turnovers early in this second yes, half. A great, a last great defensive drive by the Colonials. It seemed like they actually lost track of Ben Salem and their defenders after weaving around each and every other player, but they were able to cause the turnover. Williams to Williams, and then travel by Glover there. A big questionable call by the referee on that one. It didn't seem Allen had full possession of the ball, trying to grab the ball while walking with it. Inbound in the ball will be Shields. Shields looking for Gonzalez. Gets it to Gonzalez, now to Douglas. Douglas pushing the floor, but just over seven to go, remaining in the third quarter. Douglas fakes the handoff, driving to the basket. 
No call there. Here comes Amin Williams for the Colonials. Layup, no good. Rebounded by McLeod. Slams at home. Send it in, big fella. Puts the Colonials up nine. Like I said, Steve, the second chance points and Naheem McLeod being Naheem McLeod on the boards, getting that dunk. That'll be a loose ball foul on Allen Glover, his first team's first of the half. Allen Glover seemed to be losing track of that ball, trying to get after it, but he got a hold of number 10, James Lieb Liebel. Libel. Libel on the process. Ward Roberts has the ball, guarded by Horn. Drives, floater, no good. Rebounded by Roberts, layup no good. Horn gets it on the ground, throws it long to Williams. Here he goes, big fella, yeah! Naheem McLeod over the head, extends the lead to 11. Ish Horn making some magic, wow. He the ball literally, he was on the floor. The ball literally landed right in his hands. All the Ben Salem defenders trying to surround him, but he just lost it across the court where he finds the mob Williams. And then he gives it to the showman, Naheem McLeod, for the slam dunk. Ish Horn from his backside, bombed down the field, caught by Williams, lobbed up to McLeod. McLeod over the head, slam good for two. Momentum, Colonials score, Colonials right now, 6.20 in the third quarter. They need to keep this going. You're talking about one, one standout play so far in this game that's actually gotten the Colonials all hyped up and the Colonials crowd hyped up. It was that one. You love, you love that second chance effort by Ishorn, not calling a timeout, not panicking, just heaving it and making the right decision. A seamless heave from all the way down the court, and the big fella's getting it started early in this second half. Talk yep. about not going to him in the first half. He's, got, he's on fire right now. Yes. He's got the momentum going, he's got the points going, he's got the crowd going. Yes, already three dunks so far to start this quarter. Maybe we can see a couple more dunks or maybe another uh, special plays from the Colonials. Naheem's not done yet. It's early in this second half. It'll be Ben Salem ball after that timeout was called. We all know why that timeout was called. Inbounding the ball is Shields. Shields to Gonzalez. Gonzalez, not the primary ball handler, gets it to Douglas. Douglas guarded by Amin Williams. Amin guarding him very closely. Liable, three ball, no good, front rim, Horn has it. Quarterbacking this team right now. He loses the ball a little bit. Here comes Horn. Pick from McLeod, drives to the basket. Over his head, yeah! This is Horn's game right now. Lays it in for two, extending this lead to 13. Here come the Red Hawk Colonials that we normally know and love. Coming off fast breaks, pizzazz layups and special dunks. That's what I like to see from the offense of the Colonials. And so far, surprisingly, not letting up any points. Taco Douglas has the ball, guarded by Amin. Roberts, corner three. Yeah, bang! Corner three, Roberts. That's his third of the game. Yeah, answering back with the three, Roberts, wide open. Colonial defender losing track of him. Ahmad Williams, blocking foul. It'll be on the floor, no basket. Yeah, Coach Jim D'Onofrio really angry at Ishorm as losing Roberts on the baseline cut and able to get that wide open three. Egilski for Libel. Inbounding the ball will be the Colonials. Horn. Gets it into Amin Williams, jab step, drives down the middle, lays it in for two. Colonials lead by 12. Ikilski catches, dribbles, looking. Shields, got to get it over half. Guarded by Ahmad Williams. Loses the ball, but Gonzalez retains, driving on the big fella. Ball is loose, Gonzalez retains, kicks it out. Ikilski three ball, the lefty. No good, rebounded by Horn. Catches it, pushing the floor for the Colonials. Amin lays it, big fella, oh, oh yeah! Down the lane, up high, and down hard. McLeod down the middle, putting the Colonials up by 14. Look, look out below, Naheem McLeod soaring in for that dunk, his fourth of this entire quarter. Man, he is heating up. Look out below indeed. 
That foul will be on Amin Williams. His third, team's third. Naheem McLeod, talk about getting the crowd going. That's four dunks. He's coming down this lane. This is his lane. That red square right there, that belongs to Naheem McLeod right now. Hey, he paid his mortgage. He paid his taxes. That's his lane. He Let owns him it right live now. There. That is his spot, and he will continue to keep dunking on that. Inbounding the ball will be Ward Roberts. Roberts almost stolen by Glover. Libel checked back into the game. Roberts, oh, he is on fire. Hitting another deep three for Ben Salem. You know, one thing to stop a momentous run, a three ball by the other team. So far, Roberts keeping Ben Salem in this game with his threes. Amin looking for the big fella. Glover, pump fakes. Horn driving on Roberts, loses the ball. Roberts has got it. He's going to drive on Horn. Horn takes it. Oh, they'll call a foul on the floor. That'll be Horn's second, team's third. Yeah, you saw a lot of pushing and shoving from both teams, by both teams at that point with that loose ball. Before on the steal by Roberts, and again by Amin trying to get for that second chance steal, and then Ish with the third chance steal, but the ref called Ish for the reach. Douglas inbounds the ball. Gets it inside to Libel. Libel blocked by Glover and McLeod on the same play. Libel post hook good, cutting the lead to nine. Amin drives baseline on Shields under the basket. No good, rebounded by Amin. Puts it back in. McLeod gets the rebound. He puts it in for two. Agilski will inbound the ball, gets it into Shields. Agilski. Gonna drive on McLeod. Agilski has it. Gets it to Douglas. Guarded by Ahmad Williams. It's liable. Baseline two finds its way good. James Liable heating up. Last two, last two possessions, he's been the one coming down with the points. Here comes Ahmad Williams, hound dogging it down the court. Hop, step, layup, no good. Foul will be on the floor before the play. Hey, look, a great shot by Amal Williams, forcing the foul by Ben Salem. He saw that they were coming up real close to him, so he decided to go and drive, and the ref saw an easy call for the foul. Douglas is third, team second. Williams checks out for Cooper, and Nasir Williams checks in for Douglas. Horn has it, gets it to Williams, Williams to Glover, Glover to Cooper, Cooper pump fakes the three, pulls it out, gets it to Horn, Horn inside to McLeod, too high for the big fella, but he saves it, and that'll be last touch by the Colonials. Timeout, Coach Jim D'Onofrio. Score 41-32, 2.44 remaining in the third quarter. What do we got right now from the Colonials? Nine point lead, under three to go. Well, originally it was a 14-point lead, but either way, you, the, Ben Salem does not have an answer for the Naheem McLeod. He has been owning that paint. As you saw that last possession, the Colonels are trying to get him still red hot, try to get him another layup or dunk in the process, but the cause of the turnover by the Colonials was that unhealthy pass. But a smart timeout by Coach Tim D'Onofrio trying to go and get this Colonial team still pumped up and still in the momentous motion which they have been this entire quarter, Steve. It'll be Colonial's ball out of the timeout. That foul was called, oh, excuse me. It'll be Ben Salem ball after the turnover. It was last touched by Naheem McLeod. A pass too high for a seven footer. You never Ironic. hear that a lot, Steve. And it'll be Ben Salem ball in the student section end of the court. Shields inbounds the ball to Williams. Williams in the game for the first time today. Shields guarded by Horn. Here comes Ahmad. Liable, kicks it to Roberts. Roberts 
It'll be off of Libel's knee, Colonial's ball. Colonial's got a little lucky with that offensive rebound by Ben Salem. Only Alan Glover in the paint to try and get that defensive board. Everyone else on the outside wing, they were lucky that they weren't able to come up with a second chance point. Here comes Glover, lobs it up to the big fella! Up high, down hard, McLeod slams it home again. Big they play there They simply have Glover. no answer for Naheem McLeod. Big Don play there from the big fellas. Roberts drives on Cooper. His floater no good, rebounded by McLeod. Under two to go. Colonials lead by 11. Fouls on Roberts, his first. Team's third. Listen, if the big man is hot, you keep feeding him. You do not discard him. You do not take another three. You give it to him. He is right now, he, his confidence level is through the roof. So you keep feeding him the ball and you try to keep getting those dunks or those fouls and give it to Naheem McLeod. That should be their mindset for the rest of this entire quarter until Ben Salem has an answer for the 7-2 big man. Cooper will bring the ball up for the Colonials. Gets it to Horn. Horn to Williams. Williams, everybody's coming for him. Cooper, that looks like a three ball. No good, rebounded by Glover's the one who has it. His layup good for two. Put back Allen there. Puts the Colonials up 13. Listen. Why not Naheem? Why not Allen? He's a big guy. He can get his own offensive boards. He can make up for this team. A great offensive rebound, second chance effort by Allen Glover. Douglas kicks it to Gilski, three ball. His shot good for three. Makes the score 45-35. Cooper has it. Gets it to Horn. Horn driving to the basket. Layup, no good, rebounded by McLeod! Oh yeah, and one! He'll go to the line looking to convert the and one. One, two, three, four, five, six dunks! Six dunks, Steve, and the quarter is not even over yet. He has six dunks in this entire quarter. That counts for 12 points. Can Ben Salem stop Naeem McLeod? I don't know, but at this point, it has not shown up. The Mambo number six from McLeod right now. He'll go to the line looking to convert the Wilt Chamberlain three-point play. Has not made a free throw all game, struggling from behind the line, but right now his confidence should be high. Yes, I would expect a swishing free throw by Naheem McLeod right now. McLeod, free throw, no good. Rebounded by, oh, off of Mean Williams' leg, it'll be yeah, ben mean Salem ball. A mean angry with that one. He knew he had that ball in his chest, just lost off of his legs, out of bounds. I wouldn't consider that a clear turnover, but a good second chance effort. Shields will inbound the ball, looking long for Roberts. Picked off by McLeod. Here comes the big fella himself, drives the basket. It'll be before the shot on the floor. Somebody that size running that fast at you can't be fun. Uh, you better move out of the way because that momentum and that overpowering big man coming at you, it's like a freight train, Steve. I, I was surprised that number 10, James Libel. Libel, was able to stand in with him. Amin Williams looking for the big fella, no good. Roberts gets the ball. Roberts, floater. Oh, they'll call a foul. Shooting two will be Roberts. Looks like that foul will be on Cooper. His first. Yeah. Team's fifth, fourth, excuse me. Cooper not happy with that call. He, he stood there waiting for that Ben Salem player to go and knock him down for at least a good three seconds. But the refs saw it differently, so. Ward Roberts will get two shots. Roberts makes one, gets another. Agilski for Libel. Scores 47-36 with 50 on the dot remaining in the third quarter. Free throw, good. Makes both. Glover inbounds the ball to Cooper. Cooper will bring the ball for the Colonials. Cooper to Amin Williams to Alan Glover 
Gets it to Horn, Horn to Cooper. Cooper resets. Cooper, back to Amin, running the same play but on the opposite side. Gets it to Glover, inside. McLeod, gets it. Looks like it'll be, oh, he'll shoot two. Looked like it was gonna be before the shot, but he will be shooting two. McLeod really struggling from the free throw line tonight, has not made a single free throw. Look, either way, if, he, if Naheem doesn't make these free throws, take this foul as a positive. The Colonels will be going in to the fourth quarter with Ben Salem, six fouls. That means the next foul, they're gonna be in the penalty. So that automatically means that the Colonels will go to the free throw line either way. McLeod makes his first free throw of the game. Into the game is Williams. Out of the game is Taco Douglas, who picked up his fourth foul. A very, a very big deal for Ben Salem as Taco Douglas, their best ball handler by far, coming out of the game with four fouls. He do, they do not want him to foul out. McLeod, second free throw, no good, rebounded by Glover. Glover says, give me that, put it in for two. Extends the lead to 13. Akilski to Roberts, Roberts with under 10. We're looking at seven. We got four on the clock. Three, pull up three, no good, air balled, rebounded by McLeod. At the end of the third, Colonials lead 50 to 37, a much better quarter from the Colonials there. Absolutely, you saw their dominance all over the painted area of their side of the ball. Naheem McLeod, man, what a wrecking ball that third quarter. You just see him going for the rim every single time he gets the ball. Wow, you, you, I counted six dunks that entire quarter, six dunks. I would, I, would, I would expect at least 11 dunks by the end of this game if he keeps this up, but wow, they've been, a, they've been a huge factor off the boards, second chance points, and easy layups, and their defense, eh, you can say a little bit better, wishing a little bit better, hopefully to stop Ward Roberts from making those threes, but either way, if they keep this up inside the paint, I can guarantee the Colonials will win this game. For the first time today, the Colonials played aggressive and efficiently on both sides of the ball, transitioning from defense to offense, which is where their bread and butter is and how they've succeeded all year long with that 24-0 record and that hound dog defense, which really came alive in that third quarter. And it translated beautifully to the big fella, Naheem McLeod, and they'll look to keep it going here in the fourth quarter. Abs It'll be Colonial's ball to start off the floor. Absolutely, and one thing that they really should do differently is their perimeter defense. I didn't see, the only, the only bad part about that is that you only, you, there will be easier chances for Ben Salem to get second chance points, but I didn't see that many offensive boards from them in the third quarter. Cooper forces the ball there into Williams and it was deflected out of bounds by Ben Salem. Williams will inbound the ball. Williams gets it back from Cooper. Glover has it. Inside to McLeod. Power move, and he'll shoot two. That'll be Libel's fourth, team seventh. The Colonials are now in the bonus. Look, you do not, if you were Ben Salem, you do not want Libel to foul out. If I were Ben Salem, I will double Naeem McLeod. He has been way too big of a factor on the inside paint and too strong of a big man to stop. First free throw from McLeod is good. He made his second of the game. Checking into the game for the first time is Nick Fossil for James Libel. Shooting is McLeod. Second free throw, that is good. He makes both for the first time tonight. Igilski to Roberts. Roberts, guarded by Ahmad Williams. Roberts gets it to Shields. Agilski almost picked off by Glover. He gets it. Williams has got it. Here comes McLeod down the middle. Oh, he oh! slams it down. Hold him back on the bench. The big fella says, I'll take it myself. Puts the Colonials up 17. Uh, Ward Roberts literally stared down Naheem McLeod. As soon as he got the ball, he's like, I'm getting out of here. Naeem McLeod stuffing it down in his face. Wow. He said, I'll take it myself. Puts the Colonials up.
by 17 with just under seven to go in this game. Williams guarded by Williams. Dribbles into Glover and Williams. Here comes Amin himself. He lays it in for two. Extends the lead to 19. Here come the Colonials translating offense from defense. There'll be a blocking foul there. That'll be the team's fifth. Ishes third. Cooper checks into the game for number zero, Ishhorn. Inbounding the ball will be Taco Douglas, who's back out there with four fouls. Refs will have a little chat with two players under the basket. Inbounding the ball will be Douglas. Igilski back to Douglas. Douglas and Cooper, Agilski, hand guarded by McLeod. Douglas cuts down the middle, and he'll shoot two. A great, Foul will be on Ahmad, a his great, first. A great cut by Taco Douglas on that one. As he was able to shake up Cooper, get a free open lane to the bucket, but getting fouled in the process, he will get two shots. Correction, that is Amin's fourth, not Ahmad's first. Douglas shooting two. Free throw, no good. Douglas will shoot his second free throw here. His free throw is good. Makes one of two. Makes the score 56 to 38. Bounce pass to his brother Amin. Amin Williams drives to Glover. Layup, good for two. A nice Make drive and dish by Amin Williams. Able to find Alan Glover wide open on the block and giving, giving him an easy layup in the process. Ward Roberts, guarded by Ahmad Williams. Douglas will be guarded by Cooper. Handoff to Fossil. Driving on the big fella. Looking for a little dream shake action there. Kicks it out. Douglas drives. Layup. No good. Rebounded by Cooper. Here he comes himself. Gets it to Ahmad. Too much on that one. Turnover. It'll be Ben Salem ball. Cooper trying to go for the no look pass. Trying to fake out the Ben Salem defender in the process. But overthrowing his teammate, causing a turnover for the Colonials. Checking into the game, zero Ishhorn for 32, Allen Glover, and Carlos Gonzalez for Chris Shields. Pump fake by Fossil, gets it inside to Gonzalez. Roberts driving on both Williamses. Ahmad comes up the ball, gets it to his brother Amin. Here come the Colonials. Horn gets it. Horn drives. Layup. Good. No good. Excuse me. He'll go to the line and shoot two. Fouls on TJ Agilski, his third, team's eighth. Going to the line to shoot two is number zero ish Horn. Honestly, I would say that foul is just what they needed for the Colonials. They seem tired. They've been running up and down, up and down for the past minute without a stoppage until now. So a time to, for the Colonials to go and get their breath and get those legs fresh enough for another defensive drive. First free throw, no good for Horn. Checking into the game, number 23. For number one, Taco Douglas. That'll be Lamont Hasker. Rebounded by Amin Williams. Gets it to Cooper. Horn missed both at the free throw line. Am Ahmad Williams, excuse me, driving. Kicks it to Cooper. Back to Amin Williams. Amin 
Drives down the middle, no good. Rebounded by Hasker. Hasker will bring the ball up. Hasker to Gilski, three ball. That's no good. Rebounded by McLeod, gets it to Amin Williams. Ish Horn will bring the ball up slowly for the Colonials. Gets it to Ahmad Williams. At this point, the Colonials should only be considering milking the clock. Cooper has it, drives on Hasker, leaves it for Amin. Amin's layup, no good. Rebounded by Amin, his second chance layup, that is good. Now it's Roberts with the ball. Roberts driving on Cooper. His layup, no good, it's seemingly tipped by Horn. Williams hands it off to Horn, and again, the Colonials will take this possession slow. Horn to Amin Williams. Amin, Cooper, corner three. Bang! Corner three, Cooper, good. Hand off to Hasker. Hasker guarded by Cooper. Hasker, timeout Ben Salem. Scores 63 to 38 with three minutes, 22 seconds remaining in this game. What have the Colonials done well in the second half to really assert their dominance? Well, I would just put all my emphasis on the third quarter. Naheem McLeod making that statement. He, Coach Jim Nafria wanting to be a little bit more aggressive in the second half and they got it with the big man, Naheem McLeod, with seven dunks in the second half in total. And honestly, there has been nothing really else for the Colonials. They've been great getting some good second chance points with their offensive rebounds. And they've been playing stellar, much better on defense, not stellar, much better on defense than they have in the first half. And it has reflected pretty well in the game as they lead by 25 points, Steve. It'll be Ben Salem ball out of the timeout. Peters checks in for Amin Williams. He'll guard Lamont Hasker. Libel driving on McLeod. Fade away two from the oh, excuse me, from the free throw line, no good. Peters gets it to Ahmad Williams. Ahmad Williams will take his time getting it over half. Cooper to Peters. Peters gets it to Horn. Horn brings it out. Cross court to Ahmad Williams. Layup good for Cooper there. Even when milking the clock, the Coyotes are still finding ways to score easy buckets, Steve. Carlos Gonzalez gets it to Fossil. Fossil driving on Cooper. Ball's all loose. Cooper to Ahmad Williams, who slams it home! Oh boy! Didn't know he had that one in his locker. Ahmad Williams bringing it out for the playoffs. Hey look, if it's time to showboat when you're up, when you're up 29 points, why not? Go for a dunk. Get the crowd going. Here comes Horn. Horn. He throws it down, back-to-back -back dunks for the Colonials, putting them up by 31. Timeout, Jim D'Onofrio. Here are the Colonials right now, up 31 with just over two to go. Well, if Ahmad wants to dunk, why not Ish? Doing a little shimmy shimming and then going doing the dunk at the very end. Well, you can say that the Colonials are definitely in the driver's seat by now. As Jim Nafrio, I expect, called that timeout just to take out his starters so that he can freshen them up, not injure them for their next opponent. And I'll really give this crowd credit because in the first half they were dead dry and now they're awake because, hey, when your team's playing like this, why wouldn't you be proud? Absolutely, and you can hear them singing in the stands, waving Ben Salem goodbye and pointing them to their buses. 
They certainly know that direction. It's not been of a familiar direction here for the Colonials, who will look to extend this home winning streak to 50 games unbeaten, that which is, is impeccable, impeccable. Like you said, Steve, it is a Pennsylvania record, according. No, it's the longest standing right now. I don't know if it's the record, but it's longest currently in Pennsylvania. Well, it wouldn't surprise me if it is, because 50 wins at home, that sounds at least six seasons worth of doing that. Hasker. Guarded by Peters. Hasker driving to the basket, loses the ball. Cherry's got it. He throws it to Sullivan, and it's picked off by Williams. He'll pull up three. Shot no good. Rebounded by Hasker under the basket for two. Hasker doing a little things himself. You wouldn't expect a little guy like him to go in an offensive board and put it back in, but, but hey, he, did he it. wanted it more. He wanted that ball more. Straight fist, three ball, no good. Out of bounds, last touch by the Colonials. Checking into the game. Ruben Jean-Philippe and number 33, Nick Fossil. They're making way for Libel and Gonzalez. Inbounding the ball to Williams, here comes Hasker. He'll be guarded by Peters. Hasker step back two, no good, rebounded by Cherry. He gets it to Sullivan, who's in the game for the first time tonight, along with number 35, Jordan Evans. Evans loses the ball off his foot, it'll be backcourt violation. Actually, it'll be out of bounds, last touch by the Colonials. Evans chose not to touch it. 54 seconds remaining in this game. The Colonials looking a sure fire to win this game, and they will play the winner of Upper Darby or Downingtown West in their next game, which is a state qualifier. Really interesting, really interest, two interesting teams the Colonials will be playing. Three ball, no good, rebounded by Strafus. Peters, Strafus, hesitates from the three. Floater, uh, bank shot good for two. Here comes Jean-Philippe. Hasker, three ball, no good. Rebounded by Sullivan with 14 seconds remaining in this game. Looks like the Colonials will walk this one out. And they will be set to face either down in town east or upper Derby in the next round of the District 1 playoffs. Counting down here, two on the clock, one, zero. At the end of the game, Colonials 71, upper, uh, excuse me, Ben Salem 40, dominant second half by the Colonials, putting up a whopping 44 points. Wow, just wow. That's what you expect from the Colonials, Steve. We didn't see it in the first half, but then we really saw the Colonial basketball team in the second half. Let's hope that they can keep this second half team up going into the next round. No matter which team the Colonials play, you know where it'll be. It'll be here this Friday, February 24th, 7 p.m. for this CIO TV broadcast of the District 1 playoffs. I'm Stephen O'Malley for Ethan Jack. We'll see you next time. Thank you.